Alright, boys! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crickets. Alright, lads! What's happening? I am Lawrence Cheney from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Series 2. And today, we're going to the seaside! Yeah, bring your f***ing sunscreen, because I'm burning up. I'm going to show you how I achieved my day at the seaside runway look. Simone! Come to the seaside with us! Yeah, come on, come on! As long as you're coming. So if you bastards want to see how I achieved my day at the seaside look, then keep on watching. So because for this look I don't have eyebrows, I'm just doing a beautiful banging symmetrical underbrow highlight and then just my normal foundation. I saw Ellis Atlantis do it and Aquaria do it and I thought it was fierce. I start with my Krylon TV paint stick in 070 white and I'm getting some of that. I'm going to try and symmetrically draw on two kind of underbrow arch highlights. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Have yeah, fun. Luck. Hope it works this time yeah. around. Think of it as if you're painting a beautiful picture of a mountainscape, okay? Like Ben Nevis or something. You want to go whoop up the f mountain and then you fall down it. So now I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to get my TV paint sickle up on my finger and I'm going to bing bang bong it on my eyes. Oh yeah. And then just finger out the edges. To kind of start off that blend so it's not so harsh a line when you try and merge the foundation in with it. Oh yeah, keep fingering, there you go. There we go, and beat your face till all that underbrow highlight is set. So now everything's dusted off, I'm going to add some depth in in my forehead. So not only add in my foundation colour, but I'm also going to add a bit of contour here. Just in the same way you would to your nose. To make it a bit more defined, then we're going to blend it out and make it look beautiful. I'm so sad that Veronica wasn't able to come back because of Covid. So not only did we have to pause and stop filming and have to come back and redo it all over again, Veronica never got a second chance because of Covid. I'm really happy that she gets to come back for season 3 but I'm really devastated that she won a challenge in this competition and she was doing so well up until that morning glory acting challenge. I mean I'm really sad that one of her last memories is going to be having an argument with all of us and Tace in the workroom before we were all sent home because of Covid. Like, that is sad. So, Veronica Hain, best of luck for season three. Um, love your hair, hope you lose, as always. But yeah, shout out, Veronica. What did we all make of Joe Black coming back? I love Cherry and Estina. Cherry's makeup is phenomenal. And Estina is a better dancer than anyone else I know. And for Joe to go home first, looking amazing as you know she did I was really shocked by that and I think very few times you know somebody I was robbed they were robbed this, this I genuinely think Joe Black was robbed and I think Joe deserved every single vote that she got and I think she should have gotten a full house of votes but I understand loyalties all that stuff Joe is such a fierce competitor that I want to win against Joe Black because then I know I have won against the best. You know, that that's how I looked at it. I, I just love everything Joe does, so it was a no-brainer that Joe Black came back. Oh my God. On to the nose. I'm going to do my nose the same way I do it all the time. I'm going to slather it all in foundation, draw two brown lines that resemble chocolate bars, and then make those chocolate bars melt and blend out. I feel very uncomfortable right now. As you guys have seen before, once I've finished with my nose, it is on to my neck, then the rest of my face. So I'm just going to speed through my base procedure, and then we'll get onto the interesting things like the eyes and the rest of the costume, right? The great thing about this is, obviously, Ahura was the last one picked, so she felt like sh**, but genuinely, 
I imagined our girl group being our girl group. I wanted Ahura to focus on the looks, I wanted Taste to focus on our dance routine, making us be as top notch as we can be, and you know, teaching me some of our tricks of the trade. And I knew Bimini's not a singer, but what she can do is she gives a real great vocal performance. And oh my God, her raps, I'd seen them on Instagram before. I saw her rapping on Instagram. Holy f She likes it rough, but her lentils tender. Queen sh The good thing about being the team captain of those amazing girls was it meant that I was able to take my insecurities, put them aside and go, how do we become the best girl group we can be? I'm not the best rapper. Bimini is. Yep, I'm not the best dancer. Tases. So I was really happy with the group of girls I chose, but it was a big leap of faith, wasn't it? Um, and I'm really proud with how we came out. I mean, f it, we won. I'm going to reinforce my contours and draw in a neck with my next contour palette, which is uh, kind of destroyed right now. Oh! Not a Do you think? the United Kingdolls were the winning team. Because I love Joe and I love Tia and they were the best out of that group. I thought Ellie was great until her hair was falling in her face and Sister was there. You know, she was like cousin, cousin instead of sister, sister. Oh, here we go. Drawing in the neck again. You've got some neck! No one's ever said that to me. Let's bring out some definition in these cheeks. Now, the key to any lunch cheney eye makeup, whether it's big or small, <laughs> who am I kidding? I never do small eye makeup. It is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I use this for all my makeup looks. And the amazing thing about this product, and this isn't a product placement or anything, I'm just giving you my recommendations. You can get really fine, sharp points with it, but you can also use it. It's nice and wet, so you can use it to do a big eye makeup. And it doesn't set before you finish it. It's just a miracle of a product. The next step is eyeshadow. I am using Flame Point by Sugar Pill, a nice bright orange for my eye makeup to go with my hazardous look. You know, on the show, we only had an hour to go from our UK Hun performance looks to our runway looks. All I was hearing was the Mission Impossible music, I'm telling you. Now using Carbon by MAC, which is my favourite black eyeshadow, I'm just going in and blending out that crease. Do you know, we were all so nervous to perform our number. I was terrified. We were all like, oh, we're gonna lose. And then me and Ahora. Ahora always comes to me and says that I'm negative. Ahora would come up to me and she'd go, yeah, it's me and you girl, we're in the bottom this week. <laughs> what did I do? That was our first performance back after lockdown, during lockdown, apart from these digital performances, that was our first performance back in like eight months. Something was in the air, you know, and it wasn't one of my farts, it was a good thing. And it just felt right. It felt electric performing on that stage. I mean, I remember turning the corner and going, UK Han! And then as soon as I started dancing in my Highland jig, seeing RuPaul laugh, I was like, God, I've missed making a crowd laugh or even seeing other people emote in front of me. I've not had this in months. So it was just so exhilarating. And I'm so proud that we won. I I'm obviously proud of myself because you know, what a huge contrast from last time we were here, you know, in a dancing challenge. But I I'm, I'm really proud that I was able to get it together. <laughs> now it's time to brighten all this up and dazzle it up with some of my favorite makeup product ever invented. It's the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow. 
liquid eyeshadow, guys, and it's glittery. It's like a two for one deal. It's like using a metallic Jeffree Star lipstick, only it's not racist. Oh, nurse. Oh, now just let that dry. And I'm gonna go in and fill in the rest of my eyeliner. And I'm gonna re-go over the black line in my crease just to make it look that extra wee bit pure dead brilliant. For mascara, as always, I'm using the MAC Extreme Dimension Black 3D Lash Mascara. Oh, oh baby! <laughs> oh. Highlighting this look is especially important because you've not got eyebrows so all you've got is a nice white void there of space that you can put a beautiful f glittery shadow on to catch the light. And of course I'm using my uh, Sharpie in shade black <laughs> to draw on my moles. We're on the home stretch now, boys. All that is left for me to do is my lips, and I'm probably gonna highlight my face so I look like a chandelier. Now, I know it's a wee bit messy and it looks like I've rimmed an Oreo, but there's method to the madness, all right? For my main lipstick today, I'm using a KVD Beauty Liquid Lipstick in uh, some orange shade because uh, it doesn't stay on the bottom because it's that old. Huh. Now I'm gonna hop off camera, throw on all my costume, my wig, my accessories, my lashes most importantly, and I'll be right back with the finished look. the final look. What a whirlwind of an experience this has been. Oh my god. L let me tell you something. My mind was blown. You'll be able to see my reaction to winning. I'm, I'm gooped, gagged and shagged. So that's me, your gal Loza, won three Rupeter badges in a row. Bag of chips could never. Eh, and also, I wouldn't be doing my job right if I didn't plug something. And not in the way you are thinking. You can purchase the United Kingdom's single, UK HUD, wherever fine music is sold. I really, really hope you guys love the song and I hope you enjoyed the episode. This episode was the most manic thing ever. We've all been off because of COVID, not had any gigs, not had anything to perform to. So getting back and jumping right back into not just a dancing challenge, not just a singing challenge, not just a performance challenge, but all three. Uh. Now my hens, I'm sure you can join me in sending a huge load of love to my United Kingdom sisters, Bimini Bomboolash, Tace and Ahora. We f did it bitches, we're in the badge club! The dress part of this look, this vinyl masterpiece, was made by my friend Freak Couture in Manchester. Their work is fabulous, in fact you will have also seen their work on Cherry Valentine in the promo and you all know how good Cherry looked, so I was in capable hands. One little thing I'd like to note though, I had um, grown a little bit through the lockdown. The only thing that didn't fit, that was too tight, were the sleeves. So my friend Connor at Get Frocked UK had to redo the sleeves super quickly, super slapdash, me and him had to unpick it all and try and kind of fix it up to be as good as the rest of Freak Couture's outfit was. And then speaking of Connor from Get Frocked UK, he also made me this lovely white mesh leotard with built-in glove mitten thingy things with holes in them for me to put my horns through. And he used the vinyl as bias. How? Witchcraft. I'm telling yous. And of course, nothing would be a completed launch chain look without a few thousand stones. 
So my good friend Kim Chaos at Exotic Echidesiest had stoned this and then I remember looking at it and she said, oh, guess how many stones is on that? And I was like, oh, um, 400 and she was like, this is 3,000 stones, you gobshite. And I was like, ha ha ha! <laughs> Sleepless night, Kim! <laughs> Sorry. Dedication Kim. Queen of anything involving rhinestones, genuinely. When I first drew up sketches for this look, I had no idea that I wanted to do mesh with rhinestones. I just thought, let's do something simple and sleek that fits your body. Let's take inspiration from a life raft. Let's take inspiration from a rubber ring from the seaside that if you're drowning, it helps you. I thought the motto for this outfit needs to be safety first. I really, really hope you have enjoyed the season so far. And oh my God, Snatch Game next week. Oh my god, who do you guys want to see me be? Are you ready for Snatch Game next week? We are all so excited. I can't wait for you to see the madness that ensues. Thank you so much, my hens, for watching, and I will see you all next week. What you all aren't seeing is the movie magic of this. I'm doing them day after day after day for you to watch week after week after week because my skin feels like a f Jisbin. Apparently Jez is actually supposed to be quite good for your skin, I hear. Well you'd know nothing of that!